So the Earth Unplugged gang have invaded the sorted food kitchen. Well, we're going to torture your taste buds today because uh, it's more slow-mo science. Now, our taste buds pick up five main flavours, sweet, salty, sour, bitter and savoury, otherwise known as umami. And as a chef, it's important to try and balance all of those. Because if any one of them overpowers, you get some pretty violent facial reactions. What we're going to do today is try and get two people eating either bitter or sour or salty or one of those. And in theory, you should be able to tell exactly what they've got in their mouth in terms of flavour just by the face they put. <laughs> I'm not going to swallow it. Really? <laughs> ah! Thank you. Oh, it burns. Ah! Yeah. That was obviously salt because they opened their mouths and showed it to us. So you can actually see it on their tongue. You can actually see it on their tongue. And that is the textbook sign of salt, Bazzoli. So do try it at home, eat some salt, see if your tongue just pops out of your mouth. <laughs> Damn, you're taking that like a champ. I was expecting a better reaction. <laughs> so was I. Oh. Oh, Oh, well, so we just got to put Jamie there. <laughs> the closed eyes, that is what yeah. we're after. So that's a real textbook sign of something very bitter. Bitter is basically designed to tell us that that's poison, actually. It's something very bad for your body. So uh, almost what? every animal hates bitter things, yeah. Uh, so to be honest, sweet and umami don't really create so much of a facial reaction. They're actually quite nice flavours. Might get a little bit of a smile in the corner, but that's about it. So we move on to something else, spice, which is a bit of a mysterious one, because it doesn't actually taste of anything. It tastes of pain and heat. You've got the milk as a backup because spice is oil soluble, so both those compounds should just get lifted off of the milk. And I've got this little thermometer because I want to see if you actually are experiencing more temperature. 34.4 is maximum in there, 33.4, and you know, it's a bit cooler, so go for it! Bloody hell, he did the whole thing! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's nose. the stuff. His nose. <laughs> put your eyes and water in there. Okay, so right now, actually, what you're experiencing is particularly the pain element of it. So actually, your body's adrenaline's going, you're experiencing the flight and flight, you're probably going to start to sweat. Because bizarrely, the compounds that, so you've just eaten the alkyl amides, which, as you suggested, just, just, just basically attach yourself all around your mouth and tongue. It's triggering your pain, um, pain detectors and your temperature sensors in there as well, which is a bit weird because they're meant to pick up physical temperature, but these chemicals hit the physical Wait, temperature sensors. Is this supposed to be sensors. soothing me? Is this supposed to make me a bit better? <laughs> right, well, open your not... mouth, we'll see. So you were 34.4 before. You've actually cooled down to 32.4. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> so your body's actually trying to cool you down at the moment, so it's probably actually doing quite a good job, but it feels absolutely rubbish. Where are you feeling the burn? Uh, my eyes, my nose. <laughs> My nose is pretty tingly right now, my lips are quite hot too. <laughs> Those tiny little isothiocyanates actually move into the air and they go up into your nasal cavity, so right. that's why you're getting it up here. Right. Which it I think... my eyes, like, immediately. Yeah, so it's pretty nasty, but I've got to confess, you didn't want it. It's still burning. You might not want it. <laughs> so instead of using past tense, it flooded my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream? Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, and actually that is another way around it. You can literally just <laughs> give the pain temperature, uh, the physical heat sort of detectors in your mouth different sensations, so the cool should warm them down, uh, cool them down again. So sour stuff like this lemon juice. <laughs> oh, that is actually vile. <laughs> it's really sour. And all the protons in the citric acid are basically entering my taste buds and disrupting my nerve signals. And most of your tongue is actually supplied by oh, the facial nerve. I think it's cranial nerve number seven. And it makes your face react like this. And you get sort of little pursed lips of sort of lip movement and your nostrils flare and it's generally just not pleasant at all. So we've now got all five combos that we've tried today Brilliant. on that spoon. Yeah. 
and who knows what your face might do. But seriously guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Do check out the Sorted Food channel because they've got some great recipes. And likewise, check out Earth Unplugged for, if you thought this was cool, they've got so much more cool stuff. <laughs> Frogs shed their skin on a regular basis to keep clean. Some do it every day. And after they've pulled it off, they swallow it. But frogs can't swallow without blinking because they use their eyeballs to help push food into their stomachs. The stomach of many starfish is actually ejected out of their mouths, then they engulf their prey, pre-digest it, and suck the whole thing back in again. Starfish are not actually fish, and killer whales are not whales either. They are dolphins. And believe it or not, dolphins can call each other by name.